Hi, I'm Richard Darst. Hi, I'm Simo Tuomstrom. And we're here to demonstrate installing Anaconda and an Anaconda environment on Linux for our data analysis course. This may be useful to other courses as well. So here I am on in my Linux terminal. So I've already downloaded the Anaconda Linux installer. So I'm going to run that with bash. So bash Anaconda. So I run this, I, I or we read the license, or more precisely, we don't, we type yes. The default place to install it is usually good. So this will take a minute or two. OK, so that didn't take too long. So I have this warning here, which I'm not going to worry about. Um, do I want to run cond init? And on my computer, I always do no because I want complete control over when Anaconda is used and when it's not. So there, that is done. So to activate the Anaconda environment, I do source uh, Anaconda 3 bin activate. And there we go. And we see my prompt change to show that I'm in the base of the Anaconda environments. And now we need to install the data analysis packages. So here on the data analysis workflows page, if we go to the software installation, and then we scroll down some, we see this environment file defines all of the different packages that will be installed. So we can get this directory with git here. So we can run git clone and this. I'm going to copy it and then paste it here. Okay, I had to remove my previous copy first. So I clone it. Doesn't take too long. And now I change to go inside of the directory. And here I am. And if I look using this program called less, there's environment.yaml. And that's the same thing we saw on the website. And we see here, this is called the data analysis environment. So I'm going to run conda. in conda environment.yaml. So I will push enter. And now this is going to take a little while. So yeah, the conda environment is basically like a huge collection of different software that's been uh, distributed through this Anaconda environment. So this environment contains various Python packages and various other packages. And uh, distributing them otherwise would be quite hard. So this is the way we are currently doing it. Yes. So since this will take some time, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when it's done. So see you shortly. So we're back. It took maybe five or 10 minutes and now we've gotten here. So we see it says it successfully installed a bunch of stuff. If I scroll up, well, bunch of stuff we're not reading. And it tells us how to activate the environment. So conda activate data analysis. And this is fast. And we see my prompt now says data analysis at the beginning. So now let's test if we can start Jupyter Lab. So Jupyter Lab, no. So if you leave off this web browser, it will find a web browser and then start it for you automatically. But since I have a lot of different web browsers running here, 
I want it to start in this window, so I do that. And I copy this link into my web browser. And we see it start. It suggests to do a build. Well, why not? Let's do that. OK. So now we've got, somehow it's opened this file already for me. So we see I'm in a directory, and this is the data analysis workflows course, which I already downloaded with Git. So first we need to download the data sets. So you would come to here and double click download data sets, and then this window will open. Hmm. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Okay. Uh, should, shouldn't be ma shouldn't matter. Yeah, we don't need to worry about yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. So this defines a bunch of different data sets and some Python code, which will automatically download them. So I can click anywhere in this box and then click here, run the selected cells, and it will do it. And we see here it's downloading different things. Here, a folder called data has appeared. It looks like it's done. Data, and we see the data is here. So let's test it. So I go back up, clicking here to the root folder, and I go to Python exercises, and we do chapter one, Python exercises one. And I click here, and we can do run. Uh, or is it kernel? The kernel uh, run. run all. Run. Okay, run and run all cells. And we see there's a little asterisk here, which means that the cell's running. And once it runs, it becomes a number. So we scroll all the way down and we see a few plots. So this worked. Now we can test the R exercises if that's what you would do. So we go back up to the root folder here. And then we go to R exercises. Double click. Chap chapter one, R exercises one. I can double click to open it. And now I can do the same thing. Run and run all cells. One. It looks red, but that just the way it outputs them. And on down, and the plots are made. And that is it. If you can get this far, then you have everything you need to do both the first day and probably every day in the course. Yeah. So thanks for watching. See you Monday. Yes.